Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to solve problems 1.16 and 1.17 from the book Power System Analysis by John G. Granger and William D. Stevenson. But before we start, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the like and notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. So let's begin. Problem 1.16 states, Determine the current drawn from a 3-phase 440 volt line be a 3-phase 15 horsepower motor operating at full load, 90% efficiency, and 80% power factor lagging. Find the values of P and Q drawn from the line. So in this problem, we are given the voltage which is equal to 440 volts. And also we are given the 15 horsepower mechanical output of the motor. So P output is equal to 15 horsepower okay and then we are also given the efficiency which is equal to 90 percent 90 percent and finally the power factor which is equal to 80 percent so we are asked to find the current active power and the reactive power so since we are given the output power of the motor and the efficiency, so we're going to apply the formula efficiency is equal to output power divided by input power. So in here, na 0 0.9 or 90% is equal to output power in terms of horsepower. So we're going to convert this output power in terms of watts so we need to multiply this by 746 okay and then we divide this by the input power which is equal to square root of 3 times the line voltage times the line current times the power factor power factor okay so this will be equal to 0 0.9 equals 15 times 746 divided by square root of 3 times 440 volts times the current which is the one that we're going to calculate and then the power factor of 0 0.8 okay so rearranging this equation to give us the line current so line current will be equal to 15 times 746 divided by square root of 3 times 440 times 0 0.8 power factor and then times 0 0.9 efficiency so so calculating line current from this equation will give us 15 times 746 divided by square root of 3 times 440 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.9. So this will give us the value of 20.39 amperes okay so but we know that the line uh, the current lags the voltage by the angle theta because our power factor is lagging so if we're going to get the angle for the current so we need to find out the the value of the phase angle theta first so from the power factor cosine theta is equal to power factor which is equal to 0 0.8 so theta will be equal to r cosine 0 0.8 okay and then calculating theta uh, r cosine r cosine 0 0.8 36.87 degrees so theta will be 36.87 degrees so therefore, since uh, since current is lagging, 
our angle if we take the voltage of 440 volts as the reference so our current will have an angle of negative 36.87 degrees okay so this will be the value of our current okay so we have now the value of our current so now we're going to solve for the active power P and the reactive power Q. So active power P is equal to square root of 3 VL line voltage times IL and then power factor which is 0 0.8. Uh, let's say power factor. Okay, so substituting the values square root of 3 times 440 volts times current is 20.39 amperes times power factor of 0 0.8 okay so calculating p will give us square root of 3 square root of 3 times 440 times 20.39 times 0 0.8 will give us 12,431.41 watts okay 12,431.41 watts okay so that will be the value of our active power P and then for our reactive power Q the formula will be Q is equal to square root of 3 line voltage times line current times sine theta okay so substituting the values square root of 3 times 440 times 20.39 times sine 36.87 degrees so q will be nine thousand three hundred twenty three point fifty eight nine thousand three hundred twenty three point fifty eight volt ampere reactive okay so that will be the value of our Q so now we have already calculated the values of line current active power and reactive power so for problem 1.17 if the impedance of each of the three lines connecting the motor of problem 1.16 to a bus is 0 0.3 plus J1 ohms, find the line-to-line -line voltage at the bus which supplies 440 at the motor. So that motor in the previous problem will be connected to a bus by a line with the impedance of 0 0.3 plus J1 ohms. So if this is the bus and then this is the line so the motor will be connected this is the motor okay so this is the line with 0 0.3 plus j1 ohms impedance the voltage here at the bus or the source is unknown and then the voltage here at the motor terminals is 440 volts okay so we're going to calculate for the voltage at the source at the source or the bus so we take the impedance first which is z is equal to 0 0.3 plus j 1 ohms So let's convert that to polar form so that when we need to use the polar form in the calculation, we already have the value. So let's convert 0 0.3 and 1. So that will be 1.04 C 73.3 degrees. So 1.04 C 73.3 
degrees ohms okay and then from the previous problem we already have the power factor lagging so theta is equal to 36.87 degrees and also we have calculated the current to be il is equal to 20.39 cis negative 36.87 degrees okay so the voltage here at the bus voltage bus is equal to the voltage drop at the line voltage drop plus the voltage at the terminal voltage at the terminal of the motor so let's say motor okay so using the phase voltage at the terminal as the reference so our voltage drop is will be equal to i times z plus b phase of motor which is equal to 20.39 cis negative 36.87 degrees and then our uh, impedance is 1.04 cis 73.3 degrees plus the phase, the phase voltage of the motor which is equal to 440 divided by square root of 3 and since the voltage at the terminal the phase voltage at the terminal is the reference so we use 0 degrees okay so let's uh, multiply so if we multiply 20.39 times 1.04 that will be equal to 20.21 and then the angle will be uh, 73.3 minus 36.87 that will be 36.43 degrees 36.43 degrees and then plus 440 divided by square root of 3 254.03 254.03 cis zero degrees so in order for us to add the two phases we need to convert them to its rectangular form so if we convert them to the rectangular forms that will be equal to 21.21 and the angle is 36.43 so that will be equal to 17.07 plus j 12.6 17.07 plus j 12.6 and then plus 254.03 plus j 0 okay so we add them 17.07 plus 254 So that will be 271.07 plus J 12.6. Okay. So B bus will be equal to 271.07 and 12.6 that will be equal to 271.36 with an angle of 2.66 271.36 angle of 2.66 degrees volts so this is the bus voltage phase but the question in the problem is the line to line voltage so we need to convert this to line voltage so B bus line 
line to line is equal to square root of 3 times 271.36 cis 2.66 degrees. So equal to square root of 3 times 271.36. So that will be equal to 470. 470 cis 2.66 degrees. So that will be our bus voltage line to line. So that's it for our video for today and thank you very much. God bless.